Hello, welcome to this presentation on platelet-rich plasma, or PRP. What is PRP? PRP are small platelets that are in your blood that are very helpful in regenerating tissue. They're there for emergencies. Platelet-rich plasma is made by taking blood from the patient, spinning it in a centrifuge, and isolating the yellow portion as shown in this slide. In these platelets there are over 400 growth factors that can be utilized to help regrow skin or damaged tissue. Once these platelets are injected into the patient's skin, as you can see, they become active or release growth factors. The process is very simple. It has four steps. The blood is drawn from the patient. It is centrifuged. It is placed in a light for 10 minutes to help stimulate some of the cells, and then it is injected into the patient. The areas that can be treated are similar to Botox or Restylane and are typically related with aging and wrinkles. The first step is the patient will have a normal blood draw. Again, it's four tubes of blood. It will be centrifuged for 10 minutes, and the yellow portion, which contains the very powerful growth factors or platelets will be isolated. The red blood cells will be discarded. Step three, they will combine the four test tubes into one and place into a light for 10 minutes. And then the doctor or dermatologist will inject the skin. Occasionally they'll use an anest anesthetic or topical uh, to reduce the amount of pain if it's a large area that's going to be injected. Application can also include a derma roller, and some of the doctors may also spray onto the skin the patient's own platelet-rich plasma. What the light does is, is it reduces the amount of pain and inflammation after the injection. Here you can see the face immediately after the injection, and within about an hour, the inflammation goes down. It usually requires three treatments, one week apart for the face, hand, and neck. It can also be very useful for acne scarring. The doctor will go under the acne scar and subside and then fill that area with the patient's own growth factors. A standard no-core needle is used to cut the skin and release the scar tissue and then the PRP is filled in that area. Here's a case study of a scar on a woman's face and again it was three treatments over one week and eight months later you can see the improvement. Here's another case study, which took four months, again, three treatments uh, over a one-week period. This is another case study. Again, it's five months after the final injection, and you can see improvement in the skin, texture, and also age spots. Here's another case study. It required four PRP treatments. Ten months later, you can see the improvement in the skin. Another case study nine months later, you can see the improvement in the skin. Here's a case study eight months later, and it's very noticeable. The age spots um, have been reduced by a uh, dramatic factor. Another case study with acne scarring, and you can see improvement in skin texture, tone, and also age spots have decreased. Here's a case study of uh, severe acne, and the uh, patient uh, had to do four treatments, and some adipose tissue was also added to fill the defect in the face. Stretch marks can also be used um, for this treatment. And again, here's two uh, uh, before and after pictures showing improvement in the skin. Many superstars are using this type of treatment for beauty. Again, Angelina Jolie, Kim Kardashian, and, and Madonna are also uh, been noted on these uh, press releases. The procedure can also be used to improve the hair, so you can inject the scalp. Again, same step, four steps. Some topical anesthetic will be used prior to the injection into the scalp. The doctor will inject the scalp with the PRP, as you can see here in this image. And this is two days after the injection. And again, you can go back to work. Uh, there is no uh, traumatic uh, scarring. Uh, here's a couple of case studies. Uh, again, three months after the injections, uh, there's a female, a male, uh, and another female. And again, it will not increase uh, hair growth if there is no hair. It will only thicken hair. And there's quite a bit of information available on the internet. You can go to PubMed 
and type in uh, PRP for hair treatments and you can see the published research. Thank you for viewing this video on Bangkok stem cells.